Hello, welcome back uh, to our channel. And this time we are going to explain to you a small signal equivalent circuits for the MOSFET and the BGT. So let me write the title. We will draw the small signal models for BJT and MOS transistor. So we have covered enough theory about uh, BJT and the MOS, how it works, how they work, and their operating principle, their equations for the current voltages, their symbols, mm -hmm. and uh, the circuits also in the different modes. So based on that, let me draw you the models for the MOSFET and the uh, BJT. So here I am going to draw you the MOSFET model and here I am going to draw you the MOS uh, model for the BJT. So obviously uh, here is your positive and the negative where you apply the input signal and then because of that you have the input current I1 that flows and then you have so it's basically a two port network so here is the output current that is i2 and then here at the input side you will have the voltage drop that is called as vgs that is the difference between gate and source voltage okay and then here at the output circuit you can have a dependent current source named as gm times vgs the value of this dependent current source which is i2 is equal to gm times vgs so gm is the transconductance of the mosfet and then you can connect it like this and at the output you have this rds that stands for the output resistance of the mosfet between drain and the source terminal and this is how you draw it. Then you have a small resistance called as RS, that is resistance connected from the source terminal and towards the ground. So here is your complete circuit. And the drop here is the output voltage V2. So there is this complete circuit right here. Here is the negative. Your input voltage VI, output voltage your input voltage V1, output voltage V2, then you have an input voltage drop VGS and the current that flows into the circuit is I1, output current is I2, that current is nothing but GM times VGS which then flows through the RDS to develop the voltage, output voltage V2. So it's a kind of two-port network. So here is your circuit for, for which we have actually drawn the resistance uh, of it so here you have like a resistance rs and then uh, you have this transistor let's say vdg and then this is your nmos transistor and then here you have the gate terminal you have a drain and then you have a source and here you have a ground so this is how your mosfet model looks like on the other hand we can also draw the small signal model for the BJT. So the procedure is same. You have the input voltage V1 and then because of that you have an input current I1 that flows through the circuit and then there is a resistor called as RB. It's a base resistor. Remember the input resistance here. The, you have a gate so ideally zero current can go inside the, through the gate. So you don't have the resistance drawn here, but in the base, there is a base current. And uh, because of that, you have uh, some resistance opposing that current. Now, at the output side, you have again a dependent source, which is this I2. And the value of that I2 is given as beta times I1. So beta is the DC current gain of the BJT. And then you have an output resistance of the between the collector and the emitter of the transistor. 
So it's usually very high, RD, just like RDS. And then from the emitter, you have a resistance called small RE. And then with respect to ground. So here, the output voltage is V2. And the transistor circuit for which it this small signal model was drawn can be categorized like this. So here you have a ground. This is your resistor RE. Then you have plus VCC. And then you have this base terminal. And therefore, this is your ID. That's your collector current IC or I2. And that is how your circuit looks like. So here we have uh, explained you how to draw the small signal models for MOSFET and the BJT. So hope you like this video. If you do so, do hit the like button, comment on the video, share with others for a wider reach and subscribe to the channel for more engaging and rich content on this. Till then, wish you happy learning.